Hey guys, welcome to Draw My Story. And before we go into the video, I have an amazing announcement. I've started an animation channel, 405 Not Found. Yes, you heard it right. I know you guys are excited as me hearing this. And for all the Draw My Story fans out there, please go and check this out. The link's in the description below. And thank you so much, guys, for all the love and support you've been giving me. I can't be more happier. And I'd be thrilled if you guys also like and subscribe to my second channel as well. Love you all. And here's the shout out to those amazing fans of Draw My Story who've sent in their fan arts. They're beautiful. Thank you guys for sending. If you also want your arts to be featured in my video, then please follow the instructions of how to send in your fan art. It's in the video description below. Love you guys. The name is SCP-312, aka Atmospheric Jellyfish. So, SCP-312 is an organism which is composed of very thin tissue layers and filled with atmospheric gases at a slightly higher temperature than the surrounding air. SCP-312 can float at approximately 50 meters above the ground. SCP-312 is usually kept in a large, life-form containment chamber at Site-19. Sources say that SCP-312 does not require feeding, so only researchers are allowed to access the chamber, and each one of them are provided with wide-rimmed hats and strictly trained to not look directly upward in order to protect themselves from SCP-312. SCP-312 is capable of creating small lenticular clouds around itself by releasing water vapor and manipulating air currents, and uses this as camouflage. I guess that's pretty interesting. Within the cloud, SCP-312 is visually similar to a large jellyfish, with approximately two and a half meters in diameter, from which a tube of tendrils, approximately 25 meters in length, will be hanging down. SCP-312 feeds upon large mammals and shows a strong interest in humans as prey. It has a very unique hunting trick. While hunting, SCP-312 will stalk its prey from a position directly above, manipulating air currents around it to maintain this relative position. So, in this scenario, the prey can escape by moving at a speed upwards of 30 kilometers per hour or by entering a large crowd, which seems to confuse SCP-312 and cause it to switch targets. When a prey animal makes eye contact with the core, SCP-312 will become active, pulls it with its tentacle mass and paralyzes by its venomous sting of the tentacles, eventually killing the prey, and then feast on it. After a successful hunt, SCP-312 will drift aimlessly until another prey creature comes nearby. Even I myself stay away from when it comes to me. And that's enough horror for today. Comment and let me know, did you like it? And please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Keep yourself ready for the next horror ride, because I'm 405. I'm gonna bring you one more story in the next video. Till then, stay scared. Bye.